Hey there guys, today we're going to be firing up the Acorn Junior. I've got the, the heat beads in there, they're all getting fired up right now to start it all up. And today we're going to cook up a T-bone steak. This here is a big ass T-bone steak, nice man sized T-bone steak. We got potato, sweet potato, pumpkin, carrot, button squash and some broccoli. Um, and we're also going to be making an onion gravy, alright? So anyway guys, let's do it. Alright guys, so I cook my veggies in a steamer. And we're going to load her up. Okay, so when I did the rump steak, I made a mash up. I'm not going to make a mash this time. Steamer, she's loaded, ready. Okay, so for the onion gravy, I'm going to use these onions. These are only pretty small onions, so... Alright. Now, I'm not going to make them too thick. Cut them in half. Okay. Now I'm also going to be adding a couple of cloves of garlic. Now for the gravy, I'm just going to make up an instant gravy. This is a uh, Gravox traditional gravy that's going to make the basics, basis of it. We'll be adding some uh, garlic to it and I might even just put a bit of brandy in there just to uh, give it a bit of a spice. And that's how the gravy will be made. Okay guys, we've got it going. We put the frying pan on, they're gonna do the gravy up. So we're gonna put some butter in there. Get that melting. In go the onions. So we're just going to cook these onions up until they go like translucent. That's how you sort of know when the onions are cooked. And we'll be, we'll be adding in the um, garlic and I'll put some pepper in there as well because I like a bit of pepper in with my gravy. If you don't like that or you don't want that, just don't put pepper in or gar, whatever. Um, this is just how I'm doing it. Okay, so now I'm just putting in the garlic.
away. So now I've got the garlic in. Onions are cooking really good. Gonna add a little bit of brandy. <clears throat> it's gonna have the gravy to it now. That was about 150 mils, millilitres of hot water. And then I added um, the grey box to it. And you just add it to it till it gets to the your desired sort of thickness. And now we'll just stir it around like this. Okay, now that gravy is she's about ready now so the next thing we're going to put on is going to be the t-bone steak okay let's prepare this t-bone get it ready for the grill first up i'm going to put on some steak spice blend Next, cracked black peppercorns. And then we're gonna push it into the steak. That's looking really good. Turn it over. Okay guys, that's ready for the grill. <clears throat> okay, first time cooking a T-bone on the acorn. So we're gonna give that a few minutes and we're gonna turn it over. And we're basically gonna keep turning it over every, say, every five minutes and um, until it's all done. Okay guys, that's been five minutes. Let's see what she's, turn it over. Oh geez, is that looking good or what? Okay hey guys, that has been five minutes. Let's turn it over. She's looking good. Okay guys, the steak, she's done. So we're gonna take it out, put the veggies, get the whole plate, get the meal prepared up. See what it's like. Carrots.
walk away. Tie tie. Sweep a tie dye. Pumpkin. And of course, button squash. Now, tea bone. Last but not least. Onion gravy. Okay guys, that's my meal. I'm gonna sit in and enjoy it. Hope you like that video. And uh, catch you for the next one. <clears throat> Look at that guys, perfection. Okay, so click the thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you already haven't done that. See you for the next one.